Hello everybody, welcome back to the Legacy of Nerd. Today we're gonna go over a bunch of Power Rangers news. We have a lot to get through, so let's get started. I think the best place to start is at the beginning. A couple of weeks ago, the Illuminati reported that the next upcoming season of Power Rangers was going to be a reunion season featuring the original cast. This has already met with a lot of skepticism because one, it's the Illuminati, and two, the original cast hasn't gotten together in the last 30 years for any sort of thing on screen. So immediately it was kind of knocked down already by the Pink Ranger, Amy Jo Johnson, who on her Twitter stated she hadn't seen anything or heard anything, and as far as she knew was untrue. There, uh, the Blue Ranger, David Yost, has been talking about that he had been writing um, sort of a, not a reboot, but a kind of a reunion season and that he was shopping it around as to where the original cast was going to feature in it and what they were doing now as far as their characters were going. Other issues with the reunion is the well-known feud between Austin St. John and Jason David Frank or the original Red Ranger and original Green Ranger. Uh, there's been a long-standing feud that they don't get along with another, that this feud was thought to be buried around the time of the 2017 movie. Um, I guess no one just talked about it, but it seems to be going strong still. Uh, Austin St. John was on a current episode of Power Playback uh, with Catherine and uh, Nakia, the Zeo Yellow and Zeo Pink Rangers, or Zeo Pink and Zeo Yellow, where he was discussing back when the season two was going on, where him, uh, Walter, and Thoy were asking for a pay raise for Saban. And they originally had all six cast members cited to go and ask for, for a raise. Uh, when they showed up, it was just him, Austin St. John, Walter, and, and Thuy. Um, it turns out that JDF had gone behind their backs and gotten Kimberly, or Amy Jo Johnson, and David Yost, Billy, to side with him because he wanted to be the cool White Ranger, the new leader of the Power Rangers. And when Austin St. John and the others approached the bond, they lost and then they were placed on the show. Fast forward a little bit more than <laughs> last week. It was the news about Austin St. John and the recent indictment. Austin St. John and 17 others were indicted by the federal government for stealing loans provided by the government to help with small businesses uh, and pay their employees during the COVID pandemic. And this was supposed to be a relief fund to help those family businesses. Uh, it was alleged that $1.8 million was stolen and used for personal reasons. Uh, this channel is not going to take a position on whether Austin St. John is innocent or guilty. Uh, we are going to wait for the evidence and see what is going on. Austin St. John did uh, a stream yesterday uh, through his channel uh, where he said that he is already entered a plea of not guilty and he wouldn't be talking further about the, the case. So, going back to JDF a little bit, this shows here, JDF, kind of already choosing a side. He had posted this on TikTok, but it's already deleted. He also went on a Facebook Live where he discussed that he was not happy about the whole incident, that he thought it was bad for the brand, but then he kind of went back and said, well, we're just going to wait to see what happened innocent until proven guilty. He also said in the same Facebook Live that he is done with Power Rangers, that he has done enough for the brand, that is different people now, and that he is moving on and he is doing, he is focusing on his White Dragon film that was uh, crowdfunded with uh, Bat in the Sun that should be coming out later, I think either this year or next year. So that's something to watch out for too. Well, but this all complicates the issues of reunion. And he also said in that same stream that the reunion is untrue. Again, a lot of people in the community don't know if this is true or not. But obviously, with the recent Spider-Man movie where Andrew Garfield said that he wasn't doing the movie, wasn't doing the movie, and then bam, he was in the movie. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Lastly, in Power Ranger Toy News, from uh, Toku Topics to Josh Perry, the Living Ranger Key, uh, he uncovered on the Hasbro development site a new series of Hasbro figures that is coming out called the Selfie Series. 
Now these figures, <laughs> and they're pretty awesome, they're, the thought is you're going to upload your figure, your, your profile picture or your selfie of yourself to a Hasbro site, and they are going to custom make a head for you to go on one of their various action figures. So for Power Rangers right now, they show the options were the Red Ranger and the Pink Ranger. For other lines, there was uh, Spider-Man, Iron Man, there was a Stormtrooper. I saw Princess Leia. So that is something that's coming out. Now it says it's going to be $60. Now this was kind of a dummy site or a developer site, so we don't know exactly if it will be $60. I'm hoping it's going to be $60. That would be a great price for a custom head. Again, custom heads typically go for a lot more, $100. Those are usually handmade, custom made by people with 3D printers, painted, sculpted, all that stuff. So um, if they're able to pull it off for $60, that'd be awesome. And today we like to end this video with... And today we like to end this video with uh, noting and sharing condolences with the community of Uvalde uh, here in Texas. I am in San Antonio. Uvalde is uh, about an hour away from me. We are feeling the pain here. I cannot even think about the pain that the, those parents are feeling. So we like to take a time out and, and share our condolences and our sorry and just pray for those that need it. Well, that's about it, everybody, for the news as of late. Um, I'm probably gonna enter this as a vlog kind of the vlog was always kind of meant to be whatever I want it to be, so I'm, I'm probably going to do that. But if we have any more Power Ranger news, I will come back and kind of discuss it. Please discuss in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're feeling. I want to know what you think about the brand, what you think about the possible reunion. Is it fake? Is it not? Let's discuss it. All right. Thanks again.